All right, just got another cap, but I don't have a full hour right now. So while we still have the world boost, why not go ahead and try a little Chasm Quaker Terra Tower? Because just maybe we can go ahead and snipe a little core. We need actually two more pairs of boots and gloves, preferably a bit more in case, you know, one of us dies at Terra or something with him. Um, so some spares would be nice as well. And then we can use the rest of the Chasm Quaker loot to just sell off and just make a little bit of money. I would really like to get Flubber to a Mythic Donator for a free Grand Promo. He's only like 400 bucks off. It's not that much, but I mean, that's like 120 bill or something, if not more. So we're gonna have to make some money for that. So yeah, gonna work on that through a little bit of Chasm. Probably won't be on too much tonight because it's still Christmas, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I have no idea how long the World Boost lasts for anyway, so we'll figure it all out together. About halfway uh, in terms of tokens at the moment. So I still need quite a bit to clear the tier 2 chest, but we'll get that done in due time. Just before I gotta go, let's quickly go ahead and check out our Wanderer tasks. I completely forgot that they reset today, like one and a half hour ago. See if we get anything useful this week. Grand Boots Eye, very unlikely. Actually impossible. Uh, Divine Spirit Shield, probably not happening either. Seven Torak Hammers. And six Aerodome Plates, at least doable, easy and medium, I guess. Well, we at least completed every step of the easy and mediums, but... <laughs> Grand Boots Eye and the Vine are very unlikely. Wanderer Tokens we now have. 475, not even enough to buy a box. Minus 100 for the Elixirs, of course. Huh, even got an Eldritch Orpa step on tie. Luckily, I coincidentally have two of those now. So that is a decent amount of tokens on Ty's account at least. No elite, but three hard steps, a medium and an easy. So that is at least one little box. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull a nice little armaments blessing. That would be really sick. Also buy him two elixirs again. Another Necromancer Tome. Wow, we pulling rares left and right. I don't know how useful that would ever be, but there's a third Necrotome. Well, it sure as hell is another disappointing week of merchant tasks. Very little is doable for us at the moment. One more box on Flubber, 200 Chaos Lux, so I guess we'll take that for more Chasm and whatnot, but... I mean, at least we got the Necrotome. I'm just disappointed. So many tasks are so beyond completable for us, it's ridiculous. It, it hurts a little, I'm not gonna lie. It is what it is, we're gonna have to get over it. Anyway, not too many boxes for this week. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. Chasm Quaker. Let's fucking go, exuberant core in the pocket. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Oh, I was so happy to see that yellow beam on the floor. That is a fifth pair of either boots or gloves, one or the other. Well, not a pair, but like a fifth. I mean, it's a pair of gloves and a pair of boots, right? <laughs> but not like a pair is in one boot and one glove. Okay. Anyway, fifth core, fifth item to make. Uh, we definitely need a few more, though.
ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new day. We can commentate again. We got some decent things done last night. Cleared another chest and stuff. The loot wasn't that amazing. A little disappointing on the uh, epic pet box with another infernal, of course. A mini game box with some shitty gloves. The grand prize key, however, was uh, very, very nice, of course. We got some really cool pulls from that. Don't even remember exactly what I got, except for the fact that we got a pendant, of course. And I think like Draconic Blade Buddy and all of that, just really good rune coins and another pendant. Two more to go for Shazy and I. Another crest added to the pile for when we eventually make our crest sets back. And we are back on a new chest, but we're not gonna do that today, no. What we are doing today, well you might have already guessed it by the rune diamonds in my inventory. We are going to prestige my group Iron Man from Prime to Heroic Mode. Let me just see what this says real quick. I lose all access to level-based unlocks until you regain it, including but not limited to max guild and dungeons, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. max capes and shit, uh, achievements, of course, of course. So I won't be able to wear my E comp anymore or normal comp even until I'm maxed. Now, what is heroic mode going to be? This is actually a lot more relevant now than it was the previous time because we prestiged from pro uh, from supreme to prime back then, and now we're gonna go from prime to heroic. Heroic mode is the most challenging and beneficial mode on Runex and can only be obtained by prestiging from Prime mode. The challenges are one time experience rate compared to Prime mode's three times rate. 50% reduction to all experience boost and overall experience boost is capped at 300% after reduction. Ha! Oh, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I don't even know if we can reach the cap, but we'll find out soon. You know, with Master XP accessories and all of that. But what are the benefits of it? We now get 15% drop rate bonus, if I'm not mistaken. Prime is 10%, but I'll check in a second. 15% chance for double drops, definitely an increase, I'm guessing by 5% as well. And access to the Prestige perk tree. You can re-prestige an infinite number of times after you reach Heroic Mode. You'll stay as Heroic Mode, but you'll receive plus 10 Prestige points, which you can spend on the perk tree, providing a variety of bonuses. Here are the costs, it's all the way up to uh, Prime where it's free. And then on Heroic, 250 diamonds and 250k runex points. Every account has that luckily, so not too much of an issue. And then if you want to re-prestige Heroic to Heroic, it's way more. <laughs> 125k rune coins, uh, mystery shots, 500k runex points, like... Honestly, I, don't e I wouldn't even mind re-prestiging as much if they had just made it so that the overall experience boost is capped at 300%. If that was removed once you re-prestige, that's all I would ask for. Just give us unlimited bonus XP so we can re-prestige heroic easier. Because right now the only way I am going to re-prestige personally, luckily, just so you guys know, uh, not the entire group Iron Man has to re-prestige for you to re-prestige. I can, I could be the only one to go from heroic to heroic while everyone else that is at heroic number one, so to say which is really nice, but the only way I'm doing that is when I have enough Dominator Lamps to just flat out max it, because I'm not gonna put that time in twice. This is already gonna be torture. You can only refer it back from a rogue to Prime under the following conditions. You've never referred it before, one time only. You have not re-prestiged to rogue mode yet, and you are not in a group Iron Man. So group Iron Man, you're fucked. Once we heroic, there's no going back. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and do this. I think I have to uh, log into every account. Yeah, you must uh, all vote for the group to prestige. Nobody has started the vote yet, but maybe you would start it if you'd like. Yes, please. Are you sure? If your entire group votes a prestige with the prestige, all of your skills will be reset to level one. Oh, and a down payment. Wow, so rough out here, boys. Once all the group Iron Man members have voted, you will be able to prestige. All right, let's do this. All right, and this should be account number two, Flubber completed. And here is Goba, also completed, just tied to go. All right, the final account, my guys. I'm gonna just spam right through it, yep. If I click this, if I'm not mistaken, we'll see MJ Raymond right next to me, reset. Does that work? Wait, they are all not wearing anything and stuff. Like, what what happens if you prestige with an item on? Will it say you can't because someone is wearing something or something? How how does that work? I'm just curious. Okay, I just I just want to know what happens if I click it now. Prestige. 
Oh, there you go. All of your fellow members must be aligned and need to be at Edgefield with their equipment off in order for your group Iron Man to prestige. That's a bit of a problem, because there's a cap on how many accounts can log in at once. <laughs> I can only log into three accounts at once, so I'm gonna need Ty to get on and hop on two of them. Okay. Alright, there we go. All the accounts are here now, so now we should be able... Prestige. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Metals Group Iron Man Prestige to Heroic Mode. You have received 5 Prestige Points, which is what you get for going from Prime to Heroic, and then Heroic to Heroic is 10 points instead. Whoops. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. So with those 5 points, it's honestly... I've been thinking about it a lot, I'm just not sure which one I want to buy yet. You see, there's a double drop boost upgrade for 2.5% extra drop rate, extra drop rate bonus, right? Which is buyable with 5 points. It's nice. It's a nice little bonus. You already have 15% on Heroic. Add a ring, agree to it. It becomes 22.5% if you have the perk. And then eventually you can even upgrade it to a total of 25%, which is a lot. That's a 1 in 4 chance, you know? You're gonna hate your life, lol. Yep, I know. And then there's this perk. The Raid Chest Upgrade 1 grants a 2.5% chance to reroll a non-purple chest. It's really good as well. They are both really good perks. It's just that... On one hand, I feel like we're not gonna raid anytime soon, because we're just prestiging. We have a lot of other grinds to do. Night Terror, CM Chasm Quaker, Nex, Event Hunting. Well, in case you didn't know, it's those last two things I mentioned, next and Event Hunting, they both can't even double drops anyway. You can't get double drops from Event NPCs, and you can't double drops at next. so that's already kinda eh, which makes me second guess myself, but this is really nice as well. Whenever it procs, whenever it goes off, uh, you know how when you do Grandmaster Raids on Runex, it will say, uh, you have 10 left until you're guaranteed purple, you have 9 left until you're guaranteed purple, it can roll that, it will go from a white to a white, and it will say, uh, you need 8 more to get your guaranteed, and you need 7 more to get your guaranteed. It basically goes ahead and do, does it twice in one go. There's of course a very rare chance that you'll re-roll the white-purple light into a purple light. Could be even a red, potentially. Just super rare. It's just a really nice perk for raiding, without a doubt. But drop rate is really nice as well. It's just, if you wanted to get all of it, that's 20 points right there. And then the two raid perks is another 12 points. What did I say with this was? 20? Yeah, 32 points. So I would have to re-prestige Heroic three times <laughs> to get all of that. Which probably isn't gonna happen. Alright, first things first, I wanna see if I have enough Slayer Lamps to just straight up get to 99. We have a lot of training to do. I have about 1400 of these and they still give a chunky amount of XP. 8.7k for that first lamp, 5.4, 5.1, I should probably use XP, no wait actually I don't think XP boosting stuff works on here if I'm not mistaken, at least not on this lamp. Um, rubbing this lamp will get 5 to 10,000 slay experience, I'm pretty sure that's a set amount, it will never go below or under that, even though I'm using master XP's and blah blah it doesn't matter, I can just spam through it one inventory. And whoops, 57 Slayer. Oh, this is gonna be a breeze, guys. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to plant trees before we prestiged. I completely forgot. I mean, it's a one-time XP bonus. It's not the end of the world. But, I mean, checking that tree once gave, like, fucking level 70 farming on fucking Prime or some shit. It's a bit of a waste, without a doubt. All right, I just hit 90 Slayer, which is gonna be enough for now. I have plenty of lamps left. And we'll do that soon, just no need to do it right away. So, what I want to do now, how many catalysts do I even have? 13k at the moment. I want to do a little quote-unquote experiment. So we're gonna grab uh, a Knowledge Elixir, 33% more experience. We're gonna grab a Holiday XP boost for 15% more experience. God, is there anything else that boosts XP? Alright, I don't know if I have everything that I can possibly have for XP boost, but this boost, this boost, this gives a boost. This doesn't, but it saves tokens. Uh, so we have quite a bit of gear here. We have a pet with four master experiences. And then we have two more potential elixirs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure, yeah, okay, it is on. If I fledge, for example, one singular short bow, which requires five fledging, let's make some arrow shafts. That gives 
19 XP on an arrow shaft. Now, if I, for example, drink a knowledge elixir, will it still be 19 experience? Nope, it becomes 20. Now, if we overlay the holiday on top of that, does it stay 20? Yes, it does. So I'm guessing I'm capped. It's a little hard to see because the <laughs> experience increase is very little on something like logs with arrow shafts, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it, I'm more or less capped at this point. I would fucking hope so.